What's up, Machine Freaks? We have the Yamaha 225DX all back together. She's a 1985. She's a beautiful machine. And she is ready to rock and roll. I'm actually doing the Marvel Mystery Oil video at the same time here. So we're going to see if we can get the benefits of this on our ride. But this will be our first ride. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Don't you? She's going to have a lot of fun getting to where we're going in the old D-Max. I don't know why, but the camera freaking stopped. Slipping everywhere, like I'm figure skating. Not the most ideal first ride. Uh, I'd rather have no snow, but I guess it's good for drifting weather. See, that's what we should be riding. The old ski-doo. You either ski-doo or you don't. Fuel off, turn that sucker on. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't like the cold. Does not like the cold. I don't like the cold either. <laughs> but I put up with it and I don't complain too much about it. I can just ride back there? Yeah, just stay in the back. Stay in the back? Like where we normally ride. Just like go down here, turn right, and then take the driveway up and then go. All right, in the woods. Stay back there. You're not uh, going to last long anyway. No, no, no. Be cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You ever see my sled? What's that? You ever see my sled? No. Oh my goodness, it's warm in here. Good old RS. We'll have to race this in the, the three wheeler. I'm probably, <laughs> probably pushing the dust. Probably. You like this thing? Yeah. I got a different seat for when I ride on the trails and stuff. 
big thing. Does it do wheelies and stuff? Not really. It's set up to hit jumps. Oh, yeah. What, like really wide skis and stuff? And like crazy suspension? Yeah, I mean, it's like a factory race sled, but now it's trail converted, so it's pretty tame. You like the neon. <laughs> big fan of neon. This was Sissy sled first. bank this thing <laughs> well I don't have any sleds anymore buddy I Wait, sold them hey, you sold that, uh, so I'm gonna just have to ride yours Where, where's the uh, cab over in Simcoe shop move next door we're going this way or that way this, way. this is a hell of a setup <laughs> can I include this in my video as long as Dan doesn't care. Oh, he's not even in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you have the bed on this when you, when I last saw it? Like no, this? I don't think so. This? I mean, obviously, none of it's done yet. It did its first burnout already. Really? It doesn't even have brakes. We just put a block on the front <laughs> That's awesome. I still got a lot to do, but I want to work on my F100. That's freaking cool.
I don't think I'm getting up there. There's no way I'm getting up there. I don't... Dude, I don't think I'm gonna get up there. I had to probably go down that thing. It's up to you. I mean, if we don't make it up, I can always go grab my quad and hang your up. Oh yeah, let's, let's see what she's gonna do. I don't want to go any further down. No, that gets really steep. Yeah. Oh, he died. Face off the teeth bar. Holy sh I can't believe I made it up that far though. on this peg. Oh, whatever you're thinking works best for me. You want the bigger end or you want the smaller one? I don't know. Where, what do you think? If we put it... What if we put it around the axle right there? Yeah, I mean, as long as it keeps tension on it, she won't wrap.
Thank you. Have I met you before? Yeah. Uh, once out at the Springville auction. Okay. And, uh, I bought Seth's old. Uh, no shit. You're the same kid. Yeah. Get out of here. That's awesome. I remember you now. Yeah. What did you ever do with that bike? Uh, well, I bought it. Head gasket was blown, so I threw a head gasket in it, top end. Rode it for about two years, because I bought that when I was like 14. And then I, bought, I sold that, and now I got a 2017 450 Honda. for ticking and stuff if it did anything or if we have a valve tick or a chain tick I believe this is a, an automatic tensioner though I could be wrong I'm not a professional in the 1985 225 DX category but let's get a little bit of the tick so we'll see if that fixes it or if it has fixed it or reduced it let's get back to the shop Well, you guys, it survived. We didn't blow it up. We didn't crash. And we didn't fall off. Like the reason why they banned these things to begin with. If you've never rode a three-wheeler, you really won't appreciate that statement. These things are absolute death traps. Whether you're loading them, unloading them, turning, anything on these things, they are death traps. And that's why they banned them. So... I'll tell you what though, for a guy like me, these things are fun. I'm glad that we took this thing that didn't run it at all and uh, wasn't in the best of condition and you know had mismatched parts and we got it to what it is now. And uh, now I'm going to work on, I'm gonna check out the valves to see if I can get rid of that ticking. Uh, there's a video that follows this. I did some, some scientific stuff. Stay tuned, we use that. Uh, we'll see if that did anything because I have some comparisons and then we'll also check out the valves to see if there's something out of whack there. But we sent it because it ran and it had the power so there wasn't there wasn't something too out of sorts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Froggy Fresh production, this 3D Machines production. Stay Froggy Fresh, stay super fly, hit that like button, subscribe, 
There's things that tank. We'll see you guys later.